uh, alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Then alpha per 2009 plus beta per 2009 is very nice. To start with sum of the roots is alpha plus beta equal to 1. Product of the root is alpha beta which is also 1 minus b by a plus c by a. Nice. This we can straight away sense that this equation does not have real roots. And so, b square minus 4ac is negative, there are no real roots. That doesn't matter, we can still find this. Alpha plus beta is 1, alpha beta is also 1. What do we do from here? We say, hey, nice, alpha per 2009 plus beta per 2009. It's incredibly tough to compute. I want to find alpha square plus beta square. This is alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. And so, this is 1 square minus 2 into 1, which is 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. Nice. Alpha square plus beta square is alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. We know this. We have done this. Done. So, alpha plus beta is 1. Alpha square plus beta square is minus 1. What do we do? Okay. Nice. Interesting. We do alpha cube plus beta cube. I can think of it as alpha plus beta the whole cube minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. I know that method. But I am looking to say, look, I know alpha plus beta, I know alpha square plus beta square. Can I link alpha cube plus beta cube to these two? Is there a mechanism to do that? And so how do I do this? You say that this is alpha square plus beta square into alpha plus beta. We do this, we expand this alone, the alpha cube plus beta cube plus alpha square beta plus beta square alpha. This is what we need to find. That needs to be knocked off. From this, we subtract alpha beta into alpha plus beta. Alpha square beta, beta square alpha. Nice. So, this is giving me some sense of some pattern. I know alpha beta is 1. I know alpha plus beta is 1. So, this alpha cube plus beta cube is alpha square plus beta square into alpha plus beta minus alpha beta into alpha plus beta, which is all nice. Alpha plus beta is 1. This is also 1. It's alpha square plus beta square minus 1. So, I can simplify this and get that. This is giving me an interesting idea. I'm going to think of alpha par n plus beta par n. I'm going to link it from alpha par n minus 1 plus beta par n minus 1 into alpha plus beta. This is going to be alpha per n plus beta per n. I am going to look to find this using this. So, I am expanding this alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha per n minus 1 beta plus alpha into beta per n minus 1. This is alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha beta times alpha per alpha per alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha beta into alpha per n minus 2 plus beta per n minus 2. Nice. So, if you multiply these two, we should get this or if I have to use this, okay, let me simplify this alpha per n minus 1 plus beta per n minus 1 into alpha plus beta is alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha beta into alpha per n minus 2 plus beta per n minus 2. This is equal to alpha per n minus 1 plus into beta per n minus 1 into alpha plus beta. I don't need to write about alpha plus beta because alpha plus beta is 1. Brilliant R. This is also 1. I can remove this. Alpha per n minus 1 plus beta per n minus 1 equals alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha per n minus 2 plus beta per n minus 2. Or alpha per n plus beta per n plus alpha per n minus 1 plus beta per n minus 1 minus alpha per n minus 2 plus beta per n minus 2. This is brilliant because I know alpha plus beta equal to 1, alpha square plus beta square equals minus 1 alpha cube plus beta cube be this minus this alpha square plus beta square minus alpha plus beta which is minus 2 alpha per 4 plus beta per 4 
is minus 2 minus minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 alpha power 5 plus beta power 5 minus 1 minus minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 which is 1 alpha power 6 plus beta power 6 1 minus minus 1 which is 2 alpha power 7 plus beta power 7 2 minus 1 which is 1 alpha power 8 plus beta power 8 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 alpha power 9 plus beta power 9 minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 alpha power 10 plus beta power 10 minus 2 minus minus 1 which is minus 1 11 and 11 1 12 and 12 2 why am I doing all this? Why am I doing all this? Because I want to sense a pattern. And each number, if you can call this as a term, I call this as term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, term 6. Term 3 is term 2 minus term 1. Term 4 is term 3 minus term 2. Term 5 is term 4, term 4 minus term 3 and so on. And so 1 and minus 1 generate a minus 2. Minus 2 minus minus 1 does this. So if two numbers repeat, I got the whole pattern. If you notice all numbers are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, nothing else is there. So if at some point two numbers repeat, I am through. Here are they repeating 1 minus 1. If I find a 1 and minus 1, I am through 1 and 2, 1 and minus 1. Done. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2. It's a sequence of six numbers, six digits. I keep repeating. Brilliant. So I'm going to use that idea, I want to say T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, plus 1, plus 2. This is nothing but T7, T8, T9, T10, T11, T12. I want to find T2009. I want to find a multiple of 6. T600 will be here, T1800 will be here, T, what is the closest multiple of 6 here, T2004 will be here, this is T, oops. T2005, T2006, T2007, T2008, Just or that is equal to minus 1. Beautiful sequence. Alpha plus beta is 1, alpha beta is 1. Alpha square plus beta square is minus 1. Alpha cube plus beta cube is alpha square plus beta square minus of alpha plus beta. Once you get that, it becomes super simple. So each term is previous term minus the term before that. T3 is T2 minus T1. T100 is T99 minus T98. T1000 is T999 minus T998. You get that. Then all we have got to do is look for a pattern. This is the pattern of six numbers each. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2. 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1, 1, 2. Six, six numbers keep repeating. Set of all bundles of six. 2004 will disappear. 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oops. Sorry about this. I realized that I found 2008 as I need to find term 2009. So, so far all correct, but I need to find the 2009th term, which is this one and not the previous one, not this. For some reason, while I was doing this question, I thought I was finding alpha part 2008 plus beta part 2008. Alpha part 2009 plus beta part 2009 is 1, not minus 1. Small correction, the approach method, answer method, mechanism, everything is the same. But I'll manipulating alpha par n plus beta par n in terms of alpha par n minus 1, beta par n minus 1, that's also fine. But final answer should be 1, not minus 1. Beautiful question. Hush.